Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Good to see all you guys here. This is The Late Show, and I'm your host, Doc Comedy. Good evening, good evening, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Doc Comedy, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Good to see you. Make yourself at home, get comfortable. It's going to be a very interesting night. We have a guest that we've been looking forward to for a long time. So lay back, get something nice to drink, relax, snuggle, get a friend, invite a friend, like and share this, and please tag your friends in this. This is a late show with Doc Comedy, and our guest tonight, Marissa van Beek. So guys, I just want you to make yourself at home, like and share, click on the little planey at the bottom to send this to your friends, and we don't want them to miss out. Um, and get your questions in. If you have any questions, please send them in. So we're going to get a few minutes for everybody to invite everybody over. And I think we have our first guest here already. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. There we go. Hello. Oh my God, it's actually you. It's me and my dog, Saiban. Saiban, how are you? Is he good? Oh. Is he cozy? Yeah, oh. he's so cozy and he's so excited for this. I know, I know. I'm a big fan of his. I know he's a big fan of mine. He did message me. Right <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm so glad this interview finally happened. He's spoken to you. He's licked your ear a few times. <laughs> finally, he's chewed on your earphones. Um, and this is your third pair, so you had to listen to us and get to the show. So thank yes. you so much for joining our little show in this little corner of the world. <laughs> um, I knew you were cool, but I didn't know you were this cool. So Ah, you know, thanks. <laughs> no, it's cool. It was the first thing I told you. I said, it's so nice to know that you're actually a bit normal. You know? <laughs> yeah, but often that's the thing. Like, you know, you see what um, often production wants you to see and you don't really know the person for who they are so yeah <laughs> i know exactly you know and, and i say and and we're gonna keep it light tonight and we're gonna have fun with this yes but i must tell you what mm. you have done in terms of being brave and putting yourself out there is what people never understand about comedians like me they're like how mm. could you be crazy enough to go on stage and with comedy yeah. you, you go on stage and it's crazy enough but you went on stage so i wanted to find out mm. if we have the same crazy and if other people could learn some of this crazy and um, yeah. learn to live in a crazy time you know? yeah definitely i think uh, my one friend came over tonight and he said to me everyone is crazy <laughs> to some extent you just kind of have to like acknowledge it and accept it and also be yourself i think for me, it was more a challenge of putting myself out there, stepping out of my comfort zone. And I've learned so, so much about myself. And I'm so happy I've done it. So, yeah, no regrets. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm quite nervous today because you're a speech therapist. And I never, <laughs> I never had any luck with any sort of therapy. Um, my therapist asked for some time off. Um, so... <laughs> You know, so, so maybe, maybe you, can, you can help me with this. But I saw also you, you, you are a French speak ther a speech therapist as well. Is there a bit of French there? Is there a bit of bon mm. parlez-vous for you? Oui, je oui. parle un petit peu de français. Yes, I love petit, French. Le petit déjeuner is my favorite word. Ooh, that's breakfast. That's breakfast. Naughty. But, <laughs> but it's small lunch. How can you not think people who call breakfast small lunch? I know, food. right? Especially, know. you know they're not waking up early like somebody <laughs> we know. But I must be, I must be honest with you. Everything in French sounds so elegant, even like swear words. I mean, for me, it just sounds so amazing. <laughs> so, I know, yeah. I know. For me, like my favorite is Je rêve une ville avec piscine à boire de la mer. Oh. 
I so, dream. Oh yeah, but the, the the second part of that sentence is "un femme cheveux blancs." So I dream of a villa with a pool near the ocean mm, with a blonde. With a yes, got you. <laughs> right. So so I have many ulterior motives. Just know this, people. Just I know there's yeah. So I'm just saying it. So do you like a French villa with a pool near the ocean? Yes, definitely. It sounds ideal. It sounds like the holiday I'm like longing for right now, and Listen, I could really do it. <laughs> we all need a holiday from ourselves, and Yo. our voices and our dishes. And <laughs> our how many times have you redone your cupboard? I have. Yo. Huh? So many times I've redone my cupboard. I've like. Yo, I, the other day I moved all my furniture around. I got a TV. I got a new laptop. I was just like, it's like long overdue. I need some change happening. I even bought a few plants. So, yeah. No, I, mean, no, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do plants. I will not do that to the world. <laughs> I have lost so many plants to society. You know, I was telling a friend, they tell me, listen, I should buy one. You know those orchids in the pot plant that are <laughs> popular supermarket sells, right? <laughs> But, but, but she tells me, no, listen, every time a week later, all you left with is a stick in a pot. Just reminding you of your failures all the time. Just a stick in a pot. Nothing sadder than a stick in a pot, am I right? No, but look at this. I actually want to show you my plant. This is like my little bit of pride I have. It's an olive plant, but I'm just so in love with it. I, I feel like I need to share this moment. <laughs> have, you, have you given the plant a name? <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. But uh, I might be moving towards that soon. <laughs> if, just before you do, call me, all right? Um, <laughs> I, I like to say I, I'm not your therapist to my guest, but I am your comedian. But when it comes to an emergency like that, I, yeah. But, 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 but <laughs> Sai is a clever guy. I know he's going to chew that plant before anything happens. Oh, uh, yeah, he does. He's like, literally, he loves chow chowing plants and he's like chilling. And honestly, my mom is looking after him now during the day. And she's like, he's so naughty. He like eats everything. I had to take him for surgery the other day because he actually chewed a chicken, a plastic chicken's head off and swallowed it in whole. It blocked him. So he had to go for surgery to get that removed. I mean, how hectic. Okay, so I have, I have two kids. Before you have kids, call me also, right? <laughs> there's, there's, there's baby safe stuff. So we're we're going to watch you on that. But listen... I was saying the reason we got you here is inspiration. Mm. We're going to pull back the layers. We want to understand the deeper questions. You know what I mean? Um, mm. I know you've been through a lot. And um, I'm going to tell everybody who's on here today, we're not talking about that. This show is about the fun times. This show is looking ahead at the future. Am I right? Mm. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm not going to do a you go girl, but um, almost, <laughs> almost, I almost did a you go girl. You know? I felt you. I felt you. you. Thank felt you. Me, you, me, you know I mean? So, are you ready for On the Couch with Doc Comedy? I am super ready. <laughs> okay. It gets deep, so hang on. Do you prefer having siblings or would you like to be the only child? I think definitely siblings. I mean, who else would I irritate? You know, you like. Do, you do have a sister, right? I remember. No, you... a brother. <laughs> Those are my best friends. They do classify themselves as sisters, and I also see them as sisters. But I do have a brother. He's two years younger than me, and we're quite tight too. So, yeah. <laughs> but he, obviously, he's the smart one. He's the good-looking one. So, and he's single for all the ladies out there, <laughs> just so they know. Wait, so you're the ugly one in the family? Um, I mean, he just, he's just the good looking one and the really smart one. He got the beauty and the brains and everyone always jokes about it. <laughs> is, is, is he a, is he a pilot? Cause then I'm, I'm no. a, uniform, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> uniform, I am, I will flip it. I will flip it. What does he do? No. Can you tell us? Uh, so he's a megatronical engineer and he's currently doing his master's. Yeah. <laughs> So that he's not in a uniform though, but I do admit like anyone in a uniform just takes the cake for me. Even no, scrubs, no. even scrubs for me, honestly, scrubs is just amazing. Even, like... even for me, I mean, I'm, 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 I was looking at my daughter and she's 12 years old. This year. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, when they born and they let you wear the scrubs. Yeah. 
I, and it was, it was 12 years ago, right? So it was prime Grey's Anatomy time, right? Oh, I, yeah. Dreamy the hell out of I was going around the ward giving instructions. <laughs> They're like, who are you? And, and my, my actual surname does include the word doc in it. So, you know, yeah. it's kind of like earned and stuff. So <laughs> I was, I was like, just like giving out five cc's of this. And, but I was also prescribing chocolate. So maybe that's why I was getting happy patients. I was getting happy patients. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Siblings. All right. All right. So, mm. brother. All right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm Indian. I have to ask his full credentials. Does he have qualifications? You know, before we go put him on the market. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'll auction him off. <laughs> no, listen, the minute I mentioned you, like a lot of ladies joined. And I thought, listen, did all guys leave the internet? It was just ladies today. <laughs> I, must, I must tell you one message, mm. if I may start with this message before I forget. Because mm. it was a lovely message from somebody. Um, and I put out questions today. It was the most beautiful thing. And it says a lot of what I wanted to say, but so much better. It's a message from Chalissa Fermulen. And she said, hi, Marissa, are you still planning to start your master's degree? You are such an inspiration to young women with ambition and the women out there who strive to be successful in their career. Mm. All this while still making time for traveling and walkies with the doggy. <laughs> I don't know how you got to a master's because once I got to matric, I was very done. <laughs> I was done. I gave the books in. Right? Master's is like four years, right? You so yeah, my undergrad was four years, and my master's will be another two years. And it was the plan to start, but I've been with COVID and everything hitting. I think most people's plans actually like took a three hundred and sixty. So it is still in the books. It's something I want to do for myself. I think for me, it's just important knowing that's something I achieved by myself, and no one can ever take that away from me. And that's why I'm like really motivated. I said to my mom yesterday. I need to get back on track with that too. So I am looking forward to it. I haven't really started it like I wanted to, but it's going to happen. Um, I think the market's going to be awesome for speech therapists because, <laughs> I, I mean, I have a corporate day job, right? And everyone's on Zoom meetings and I'm sure you've been on families <laughs> meetings mm. and everything, dinners. Why, is ev why can nobody hear anybody who speak clearly? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Can you, and you know, it's always one worm who's on there. And worm's <laughs> never been on the internet, right? It's better for all of us if we decided to not invite worm next time. But no. <laughs> He's always there, isn't he? he? But he never listens. He can't unmute his mic. <laughs> you know this worm, right? Oh, please don't shout us, right? He's either on video or on mute. It's never the truth. Am I but right? I'm... But I must be honest, sometimes I'm that worm. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I struggle with technology for me. I'm like, I look at this stuff and I'm like, I try and figure it out, but it's just so difficult. I mean, we live in an era where things are supposed to be easy, not complicated. And I go on and I'm like, how do I unmute my mic? How can you see me on the screen? Then I want to mute my mic. Everything feels like such a struggle. <laughs> Especially the mystery of Instagram stories, right? You. Because I know, I know it's crazy. But answer me this. Will mm. we see you on the terrible place called TikTok? Wow. I actually tried a few TikToks. Um, that was something I actually tried. Um, I think as that time I said to Mark, listen, I think we should get TikTok just for the fun of it. And I remember... The first video was such a struggle. We went around from one location to the other at the waterfront trying to like figure this out. And up to today, um, I think I have four TikTok videos and I just don't get it. It's like, for me, it's super complicated. I, I don't get that. Okay, the dancing I kind of get. Okay, well, you, <laughs> No, you got to do the move. Listen, I'm from a Bollywood vibe, right? So mm. wherever I go in my mind, everybody knows the moves, right? Everybody's doing the thing. But TikTok, yo, I don't have that coordination. You know what I mean? I don't. It's hard. And then you get the other ones with like jokes and it's very concerning. <laughs> so thank you very much to Chalissa Fermulen. And those, that wasn't the only message that says you are inspiration. So how you do studies and all that you do is interesting. Is your stuff going to be online in the future, your studies? So... You 
Usually master's is a research um, thesis that you write. So it would have been online all along and it's basically, I can do it from anywhere in the world. So um, yeah, I might start traveling when borders open. Um, I really want to travel and do my master's, but I also, I'm also ready to settle. So it's very like 50, 50 thing for me at the moment. Okay. Okay. So we mentioned um, somebody from the past. Mm. Can I ask, is that uh, relationship status vibe ongoing or shall we move on? I think let's skip this question. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That's cool. That's cool. We respect mm. that. We just don't want people to have sleepless nights and stuff. Mm. There's a lot of love and care out there for you. But I think <laughs> the, the bottom line is as long as you're happy and, mm. um, you know, you're in a good place and mm. it's healthy for everybody, that's good, you know? And um, sometimes walking down the promenade on your own self and feeling the ocean on your face is all that you need, right? To reset. Uh, that and Sai. I mean, he keeps me so busy. Um, and he's like, literally for me, he's the best cuddle buddy. So yeah, I'm very happy with him. <laughs> That's good. That's good. At, least, at least you have somebody. But tell me, didn't you, weren't you away during the start of lockdown? Well, I was in Cape Town all along. <laughs> okay, no, I, because I was looking at, at like uh, at the show and I thought, okay, that was happening during the lockdown. But oh. did you come out of that into lockdown? Was it weird that you were away and the world changed while you're gone or were you around during the lockdown started? When it yes. Started? So we stopped filming last year and then during when the lockdown started, I mean, I was here in Cape Town. It was very different for me now, you know, like, just coming back from kind of to um, reality and normal life again. And then, it's you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's very different now. It's like, there's only certain times I remember the fifth phase or what fifth stage. It was very oh, hectic. Like for me, it was very, very strange. And I almost felt like I was in a movie. <laughs> it was very weird. Actually, I think the movies are more weird now because I know we're all chilling at home and we're watching movies. But you ever get freaked out when you see people like touch each other in movies now? Like without sanitizing <laughs> and hugging, all those icky things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So for me, like it is um, very weird, like watching things. And I'm always like, don't you just miss the good old days, you know, where things were still normal to some high extent? Fives. High fives. Can you do a high five anymore? You can't. Can let, let's do a virtual one. Let's we do can a do a virtual one. one. Do a virtual there we one. go. There we go. I high five Marissa on Instagram. That is awesome. That is so cool. But tell me this: Isn't it awesome now that okay, you 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 people rec would recognize you, especially in South Africa. You famous, but now you get to roll around without a mask, w with a mask, right? Mm. So, are you like a could Marissa just be passing by me like a ghost? And I never even know. Huh? I think I think everyone looks totally different with their masks. I think for me, it's kind of like, okay, you know, like you see the eyes, but sometimes I try and imagine how a person looks without the mask. And then I'm like, when I see them, I'm like, okay, no, I completely imagine something, you know, different to what I to what I yeah, envisioned and now it looks completely different. So yeah, very no, different. I'll give, some, I'll give you some fun to do, right? So you know, a lot of the tabloids that are still around there, right? They're always in the supermarket queues. Now you're in the mask, right? So you can stand there in the mask and ask somebody in front of you, hey, did you see the cover? What do you think of this couple? Great. You could get like secret info. From, you could mm. be undercover <laughs> Huh? I can be like a CSI agent, yeah, basically. Yeah, or you could just show up at like random places. Yo, but that Marissa was cut, man. Yo, I didn't like her at all. And just see what people say. Maybe you'll get a no, but no, she was she was very sweet. And you you out of line. You are, Or somebody will be like, yeah, no, you are right. Huh? You are right. Mm -hmm. Especially like your neighbors, people you know. People just sneak up on them. Yeah. I'm going yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do that for you. I'm going to report back. <laughs> please send me a dm let me know how it goes and i might try it <laughs> then you, you can you can go around as me and be like how is that comedian oh, it's terrible it's not even fun it's terrible <laughs> second question see i told you yeah. time is time. second question who's your favorite mom or dad 
Wow. <laughs> deep, deep. I told you, I told you, it's deep. You told no. me it's deep, but that's deep. placing me in a very difficult situation, I must admit. Um, well, d- for different reasons, I choose different parents. So I think definitely... Is one um, of them money? Is one of them inheritance? Yeah, so I think, <laughs> I think for, like, in terms of if I have any things like I need advice on, I'll go to my mom. And if... Maybe, for instance, um, I would like to have a good time, maybe go on a hike. I'd ask my dad, but I'd even ask my mom for that. So actually, like, I said, you can't ask me that. That's not listen, fair. Listen, listen, I have, I have kids, right? And <laughs> even your parents have a favorite. So people always ask <gasps> your favorite really? kids. Without really? a doubt. Without a doubt. They're right here with me now. So uh, I might have caused them a lot of therapy. But... <laughs> don't don't be afraid to choose. You know, I know it's like dad has maybe the property portfolio and all mm. this unit trust, but mom is still mom. You know what I mean? You're gonna miss <laughs> that food. I'm just saying, like the old western, if they were both tried on different railroad tracks, which one would you choose to save? So we'll go with mom. We'll go with mom. We'll go with cool. Mom. Cool. Well, because mom will always save you. What did you get in trouble for more back in the day? Mm. School days. School days. Because, because you, you, you don't look like you ever got in trouble. No, I did. I definitely did. Um, you. I actually, I don't know if I should share this, but I bunked a few like assemblies because I had this boyfriend and he was a bad influence and he'd be like, let's go bunk somewhere. So I'd be like, ah, okay, like I'm not going to say no. So then we used to bunk assembly, but it did come out and I got a hiding for it. It's from my mom. She was not happy with me, not impressed at all. She's like, you should be going to those things. You know, but all they do is actually they give you like uh, the plan for the week and the buses will leave from a this location, that location. It was very boring. You why know? are you still was... making excuses? Why are you still, <laughs> why are you still, oh no, assembly is not in the Mom has forgiven you. Mom has forgiven you because you chose her over dad. Right? <laughs> you see, dad didn't hit you that day. Dad, like, listen now, please, just enough now, enough. He, In fact, he mom, did, mom never told dad about that. Am I right? I feel like you might be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if mom told dad about it, yo, it, that, that, <laughs> that Sian is dead. That, if, even to this day, dad will find that Sian and sort him out. That was yeah. that, you're in trouble. That's so good. What did you want to be when you grow up? Ooh, I remember my parents always told me I looked into everyone's mouth and I was like looking at their teeth. And then I actually grew up and I had terrible teeth, so I got braces and the works. And I go visit the dentist frequently. Um, so yeah, I'd maybe. I wanted to be a dentist, but there was also a time I wanted to be your, I think, a doctor. I think maybe being a doctor was my biggest thing that I wanted to be, but none of that ever worked out. So, yeah, I am. Listen, it was all fine till we got our matric results. You know, we all, we all, had, <laughs> we all had dreams, right? I will never, never share my matric results. I <laughs> never, you cannot get, if, even if they make me president, I'm like, ah, I'm not giving that up. Were you a school prefect? Uh, I was not a school prefect. I. <laughs> that means you're normal. Yes, finally. I have not met a guest yet who isn't a prefect. Thank yeah. you. I was, though. I was a very big nerd. I used to, like, read a lot. And um, I always remember, you know, people, like, giving me shit because I had glasses. I had, like, braces. I read a lot. Um, So, yeah, that was me in high school. (laughs) So, speaking of high school, I know this doesn't matter, right? But um, I'd like to say you blossom very well, okay? Um, (laughs) Have you seen a picture? (laughs) No, no. Well, the way you explain it, you're just like selling it really bad. Like, you've got a lot of calls from dudes from like Standard 5. Hey, Marissa, you've grown well, hey? (laughs) Really? No. Yeah. Right. You get a lot of those standard five lighties calling you now, right? No, but they, they don't recognize me. They just say they recognize my voice. <laughs> Apparently that never changed. So. Oh, they, they're trying, they're trying. So, so can, can I ask you out for my matric dance then? 
Just is not going to matter. Please. Uh, will you will you go with me to my meeting? I will. I would love to. <laughs> see, now that was for all my standard five girlfriends <laughs> who told me no. You see, look at it today, girl. Look, who am I with? Who am I with? Uh, high five again. High five again. There we go. <laughs> I'm having fun. I love this. This is so awesome, right? Um, yeah. Heels, heels or sneakers? Sure. So I actually, I don't think anyone knows this, but I went barefoot to my matric dance. So if I had to choose, I'd probably choose sneakers. Um, yeah, I prefer sneakers, but definitely heels. There's also a place and time for heels, but definitely most of the time sneakers, actually barefoot, if we could what, choose. Was that because it was an African school? No, you see, that's the problem. Like, I actually had to like improvise last minute because I was planning this dream dress, shame, and then the lady cut my dress too short. And I was like, well, I won't be able to wear heels with this dress and so I just need to improvise. So I was like, well, why not go barefoot? <laughs> well, I, but I think the truth is either that or felt schooner. And you said, and the guy said, listen, I bought flowers and you're not wearing your felt schooner to the metric dance. But okay, I yeah. know, I know. That's cool. That's cool. I appreciate that. As long as there's a pity involved. And you mm. take care of the situation, and it's nothing scary. Then, it, then it's allowed. We'll allow <laughs> that. That's acceptable. <laughs> if money was no problem, mm -hmm. what would you do? My answer would be I would open an ice cream shop. Wow! If money was no problem, nothing. I, I would probably okay. Wow! This is such an hectic question because I would probably, your maybe rent like a yacht for a while and just go to all of these amazing islands but i like like rural kind of islands so it mustn't be you know like to have too many buildings on a very rural a good time and i think i'll take my mom to all of them maybe sigh for a swim and yeah just explore i love exploring traveling and i'm really looking forward to doing all of that again me too um I really love travel, but I used to do Europe often. And it's kind of crowded, right? But yeah. now you kind of got to go and like swing your arms around to make sure you have <laughs> your personal space. And I'm really feeling like South America and like Peru and empty spaces like that rather than cities. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You know? Cool. Yeah. We're rolling together. Are we going to South America together, Marissa? Yo, I really want to go to Chile. Really, really, really. It's like on my bucket list. You know, you know sometimes your mind says ch Chile, but your mind is saying something a bit spicy with a bit of chili. Listen, I love hot food. Don't get me wrong. Like the, I went through a phase where I actually ate jalapenos on everything. Jalapenos and yogurt, jalapenos and toast, jalapenos and eggs, you name it. Okay, well, we got to that question sooner than expected. But let me ask you one, filled with innuendo. Okay, are you ready? Okay, yes, go, go for it. Because you're Afrikaans, we know that, right? Um, mm -hmm. Is milk tart not the perfect dessert to a good curry? Wow, I definitely have to agree. That was such an amazing match, match made in heaven. <laughs> because Think about actually, it. Think yes. Of milk tart cooling you down cooling you down, your tummy is back to normal. It, it, then, and it goes from what's going on here to what makar no. You know? What oh. makar no. I don't know. I don't know. My uncle Luoflaka betrekens. I don't know. I, I stopped listening in Senate 7. Right? I'm not even going to try. But um, you know what I mean? It's so cooling. It's the perfect snack. And if you think about it, what's the stuff they put on milk tart? Isn't it cinnamon? It is. It is cinnamon. Which is a spice. Spice. You see? I know that. I know that. Luckily, I know that. You but... see, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go. Now, you see, so for everyone who added me today, like, why is there an Indian guy talking to me? I'm <laughs> so confused today. Like, what is, is, is like, TV canceled? What has happened? You know, you won't speak to the media, but you'll speak to this random guy. <laughs> so it's trustworthy. You know, if, if you want someone to be honest with you, it's a comedian. You know that. No one's going to be straight with you like that. So, mm. but yes. Mm. Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> so, we're going out for Murtad and Kari. 
I have decided it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll bring the milk tart. You make the curry. You. Br- Let's no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, I have to make, and you're gonna go buy it from far. Uh-uh. <laughs> you uh-uh. actually know me so well. I used to, whenever like I would invite someone over for dinner, I would buy food from a restaurant, and like five minutes before they come. I would pop it into the oven and I would even serve it like I cooked it myself. And I mean, people loved it. People thought it was my own doing. So, so, so <laughs> it worked. What we're saying is, is if you go, the real scandal will be if you go and come dine with me. Ooh, ooh. Because then they're going to be like, listen, you were fake all along. See, when you heard <laughs> it today. She's going to not cook. That is, that is so fake. That is so wrong. You're going to, I don't want, I don't, at least don't buy the milk tart. You know where sometimes the spa puts the, they put their logo in the cinnamon. Don't be that obvious. <laughs> don't be that obvious. All right. Um, samba or Soki? Ooh, definitely Soki. I am Afrikaans and I do love it when a guy like spins you and you're just like, what the hell is happening? But I have had someone drop me on my head in a club before and they were like dipping me and all of a sudden I was like, gook, and it was my head. And I was, was, like, was his name Flace? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I can't even remember his name. I, I think it was just like some person let, in the club let, and he's like, it's Suki. Let's not make him famous now. <laughs> but so I always, I, that's my favorite part of the Soki as well. But they don't want to spin me around. Why don't I ever get spun? You know what I mean? I want to feel beautiful as well. Come dance with me. I'll spin you. See, now, now we can't. See, now we're going to go and come dance with me as a reality show. Uh-uh, no, I will not. We can't go and come dine with you. Okay, we, we'll see if you, can, if you can spin me around. But you are tall, right? How tall are you? Yes, I am tall. People usually think I'm not tall. And um, I am tall. I'm 1.77 meters tall. So I don't know if that's like really, really tall, but I think it's quite tall. It's only those people uh, who have small TVs and are watching it on their phone. Just ignore them. 177 (laughs) in the lady scale is, is tall, right? But for a guy, I think that's kind of average. I'm 179. So you're going to have to reach a bit. You're going to have to reach a bit. So you know. I'll reach. I'll reach for you. <laughs> Do they? Uh, I don't know if they'll allow me. Because then I need to wear a cape. Because I want a furl and I want to look fabulous. <laughs> it's going to be hard if they like take me to a club like Platterland with a cape. Um, no, not Platterland. Isn't it Vailand? Listen, I I, Vailand. I've, considering I'm never seen in those. Um, <laughs> I, I want to go. I want to go. I had, I, had a, I had a personal, I had a model on last week and she, she used to go to those H2O parties. You know where those guys with the big arms? So oh, I, yeah. I wanted to go just to have like a safety buddy. So maybe you can take me to a socky just for a safety buddy. Because, you know, just say the, the, that guy's with me. So, so I'll, be, I'll be safe. <laughs> Second one. Next question. Pool or hot tub? Hmm. <laughs> Depends on the occasion. I think definitely if it's really, really hot and you're at like a party, definitely a pool. But maybe a hot tub when it's, it's like night time and you want to have like a romantic dinner, definitely a hot tub. Okay. Very slow. Can you have a milk tart in a hot tub? I feel like you can. <laughs> I because feel like it, that's... It should, it should float, right? <laughs> It should float. We're going to make the milk tart, the hot tub milk tart. It's going to be a show directly from the <laughs> hot tub. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Next one. Tiger King or Crocodile Dundee? Oh, my goodness. Like, I watched a few episodes of Tiger King and I was just not interested. I was like, these people are like super, super hectic. I was, like, I was not impressed with it. So... Yeah, I, I definitely crocodile dandy. Definitely. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> this I, is a knife. <laughs> I, I just want to, I think we must we go to Australia just to do that everywhere. Every time they give us something like, so would you like a spoon? That's not a spoon. This is a spoon. This Everything. is a spoon. <laughs> this is, that was a very British one there. That was a very British one. Um, in movies, comedy or romance? 
Hmm. Definitely romance. I actually like horrors and thrillers, actually, if I had to choose. But I must say, I love to see happy endings and beautiful love stories. So definitely romance. I love happy endings too, but that's another story. <laughs> they, they hardly ever happen, right? <laughs> There's a lot of Tanis here who's following you. I'm not, I'm not covering you. I'm not going to do that. Um, in regards to men, mm. men speedos or men in swim shorts? Wow. Speedos. Let's see if you're old school with speedos or shorts. I'm going to go with the speedo. <laughs> Just to keep it spicy. I think speedos look quite cool. And I, I remember... Our school, our high school used to have swim galas and um, it just looked like so professional when everyone, all the men wore speedos and the girls wore like a full one piece bikini. I loved it. It looked so professional. <laughs> so you are too busy for assembly, but for speedo gala, you were there. I was sitting in the front row. <laughs> in the front row of speedo. <laughs> Your, when, when, I, when I interview an Olympic swimmer, I think I need to interview Chad Leclerc. He's, he's a bit of a Chad. He's a bit of a Chad. He's the nicest Chad I know. He's the nicest Chad I know. I'm going to interview him. That's for sure. I'm going to tell him you sent me, right? Yeah, please do it. He's a sweet boy. He's a sweet boy. Um, any tattoos or piercings? So I, I don't have... Um, any tattoos I had a nose piercing but I kind of outgrew it so I just one day I just popped it out and yeah I at this point in time I don't feel the need but there was a point in time that I really wanted a baby elephant tattooed either on my foot or my ribs <laughs> um why an elephant I just love your feature is that your yeah, I, I, yes, definitely. I love that elephants are super intelligent and that they're really family orientated and that they really mourn. So when one of the elephants die, they actually mourn the elephant that died. So for me, I just love everything about elephants and I'm really intrigued by them. So yeah, definitely an elephant. I think it's actually, I think maybe a giraffe is my spirit animal because I'm tall, but, but I would get an elephant. Okay. Well, in terms of the nose ring, that's very Indian. Just saying. I do, li I do like, um, you know, um, the, I did like the nose ring. But like I said, it was actually uncomfortable. Like sometimes I would wash my face and I would like clean it with a cloth. And then all of a sudden the nose ring would be gone. So it was actually a hassle more than anything else. I just feel someone would like be really mean and pull it out in a fight. Wow. Maybe, maybe if... You from no, I don't want to say a certain place. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, listen, I had the last fight in Standard Five, but you never know, right? It could be the last toilet roll at a supermarket, and then I'm gonna leave the nose ring. You gotta be well, nimble these days. You gotta be nimble these days. I mean, with COVID, I, I think it was very likely for it to happen. So, yeah. Next one, window, aisle, or middle seat on a plane. <gasps> okay. I always ask people this question because I feel like it says so much about your character, doesn't it? Exactly. exactly. But definitely, I would choose the window seat. Definitely. Because you, you get the window to sleep on and lean on. And you also get the view and the sunset and the sunrise. So definitely the window without a doubt. How about you? <laughs> I, I've always been a window seat guy. Right, I love like <laughs> seeing where I'm going, and it's like a little tiny apartment with my own little window. Even though it's economy <laughs> class and it sucks, um, I don't enjoy the going to peak situation. You know, when you got to jump over people, and especially when it's just you or you know, even just two of you and there's one stranger, which is super ox. And then like, <laughs> and then like, and then sometimes you feel bad because you drank too much juice, and then you need to pee in the flight, right? All the time. You're right. And then it's cold in the plane, right? And then, you, and then the meal comes. And then when you have a drink, the guy's looking at you all the time. Like, are you sure you want that drink? Are you, I'm not getting up. Like, please, I'm thirsty, bro. <laughs> and then you're like, please, can I have another coffee? And, and look, so 
it almost has to become like a democracy guys can i have another drink am i allowed another pee break mm-hmm. i'm i still want to find a middle seat person i i think those are the the minute somebody answers middle seat i'm going to cut the interview and i'm going to change my address because that's uh, somebody very strange very <laughs> strange. here's the most important question of the night i want mm-hmm. you to think about this carefully right if i speak to you again it will be based on this question okay or if you answer it wrong i promise i will speak cuck about you for the rest of my life is it the pizza question yes oh it's i knew it i knew it do you put pineapple on pizza guys say goodbye to marisa now if she answers wrong so Apparently, this also determines whether I'm a serial killer or not. Oh, you said it, not me. When I phoned you, you said that. So now you can't backtrack because that's why I don't give you time to think about shit. Go on, everyone's waiting, guys. Put your hearts there. Share this. Come on, guys. What do you say? I do I see pine or no pine in the comments? Pine all over. So I put a yellow pineapple and just slice it up and just put it all over my pizza. And you know what's even better? <laughs> I've I've had a bacon, avo, and banana p- pizza before. That was so amazing. The silence is killing me. <laughs> you know, I hashtag you today, Disney princess. Did you see that? Did you really? Do you think I'm a princess? Well, in Disney vibe, I could see you like birds landing on your like hand when you speak to them and stuff like that. I I I, I saw a bit of Disney music when you walked out of the limo. I won't lie, I was a bit like. I You're a, a bit like oh, I, I, no, I know people. Oh shame, thanks. You call it a moment, but I had some people also say, "No, I'm a puppy," but I don't think so at all. Like I, you know, like I hardly know how to do makeup. This is me all day, every day. I hike. Someone did my nails, so my nails actually look good. But usually, I chew my nails, so they don't look so good always. I know it's disgusting, right? <laughs> so nail clippings and pineapple is favorite pizza toppings. Okay, guys. So um, <laughs> we're not hanging out. We're not going anywhere together. It's done. You probably also eat your chips before your burger. Am I correct? No, definitely not. It's always the burger then the chips. Always. There's no other order. That's the order. Do you, do you know those people who eat all their chips first? Have you seen those people? Like, no. oh, it's so it's so weird. They just stay with their cold one, with their cold burger. It's very sad. <laughs> Have you had a bunny chow? <gasps> Have I had a bunny chow? Mm. Yes, the answer is of course yes. But Cape Town ones don't count. Where have no, you had, I had have a you Durban had one. Is it in Durban? Mhm. Did you smell in... the ocean while having it? I sat on the beach and I was like indulging, you know, my like friend, I had no what, shame. What I have to ask my 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 fairer complexion guess this. Did you use cutlery with that bunny chow? No, but that's not allowed. That's like cheating in a test. Yes. You can't. That is, that is very wrong. That is very wrong. Beach or cabin holiday? Hmm. Definitely going to go with a beach holiday. I love the ocean. I love the sand between my toes. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Mm, but no horses. No. Oh goodness! I still haven't gotten back onto a horse, and it's like almost a year now. I just have this fear of like no, no. getting See, you back. Don't, you don't listen. You need to call Doc, and you need to ask Doc. I've been <laughs> a horse once in my life, okay, <laughs> to a school for special kids, okay. Shame. No, no, I went on the on the horse that takes the most scared children. Oh the shame. Horse, was messing with me like if if there was a 5 meter wide path and there was a thorn bush he would go via the thorn bush just to scrape me up and they uh, i don't know big teeth they very scary they don't do it again please please don't do it <laughs> please nay but also just just some behind the scenes moments mark actually didn't want to wear his helmet so i was like there's no way i'm getting onto that horse without a helmet 
And I said to Mark, listen, we're both wearing helmets. And he's like, no, no, we shouldn't. We should just do it. You know, like live in the moment. And he's very spontaneous. So I was like, uh, no way. <laughs> I'm responsible. I'm going to wear my helmet. And then I think he was so thankful, you know, that I actually wore my helmet afterwards. So, yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very tense moment. I agree with him somewhat because in the movies, the winds in your hair and the horses, you know, it's awesome. But when mm. you go to the horse place, they give you that weird hairnet and then the helmet. So you look at like you graph at a KFC. Oh, really? I've never ever seen that. I no, just I've, been, I've, been to, I've been to very cheap horse places. Very cheap. Very <laughs> Sounds cheap. more expensive to me than cheap because I've no, I, I think I went to the bowling alley of horse places. <laughs> I, you know, okay. like, give, me a, give me a size 8 please give me a size 8 <laughs> horse my horses were very at the end of their lives they were, they were done they were done um, next one if you had to save a stranger's life by either revealing your picture folder on your phone or your internet history which mm. one would you disclose my answer mm. I would let them die <laughs> oh, that's a tricky one. Mm. Well, probably my internet history. Because I'm always like Googling things that aren't interesting. I love I love facts, but not everyone is intrigued by it. So like people probably be like, Oh, you know what facts I really love? Those chappy facts. Remember those like orange or yellow chappies and inside the paper you have all the chappy facts. For me, I just ate them like non-stop to get all the facts and I would stick it in my homework book and read all of them all the time. So instead of homework, you were sticking chappy papers to your books. Um, and that explains the bad dental problems as well. All the chappies you ate. All the chappies. <laughs> but, it, but it can be fixed. I must contact your dentist. Awesome job. Most used emoji. Mm, it's definitely... Hmm. I think a kiss or a heart, maybe a heart. And there's like this red velvet heart. I love sending the red velvet heart around to people. This is a velvet heart. Yeah. Have you not seen it? I, I get green hearts and blue hearts and there's such mixed <laughs> signals. You know what I mean? Like, <gasps> Actually, can I just like maybe redirect my answer? Life of Pi. Pi, you got it. That's also one of the best emojis out there. <laughs> That's, um, that, that's a popular vegetable used often in an Indian curry. That's all mm. I'll say. Yes. Because they don't uh, save the comments, so we're safe there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if your, your superpower choice between reading minds or flying, what would you choose? I def definitely would love to read people's minds. I think actually my intuition is also quite good in general. But I would love to read minds because I feel like sometimes you just want to know. You just want to suck the like, life and answers out of people. <laughs> so you're you definitely reading minds. Do you, because I find the same, but like, I think you are, you are quite young, I remember. right? I think you're mm. younger than 30. And yeah, I'm, I'm 25. <laughs> and tomorrow, I'm going to, tomorrow's my birthday, okay? Uh, but I've decided I'm, I'm doing it in Afrikaans years. Because in Afrikaans, I'm uh, 41. So I'm 14. Oh, it feels good with you for your birthday. Thank you, my friend. That's all I know. No. Thank, thank you, my friend. I'm, I'm my friend. I'm not my friend. I'm a my friend. <laughs> my friend. Yeah. So what is it? My friend. That, that's a confusing one. So, yeah, I'm going with 14 rather than 41. Because I find it very hard to communicate with your generation. Because, like, I'll send you, like, like, awesome, like, a whole heartfelt confession. And then your generation replies with an emoji. Yeah, but that's not me. Like, I always, what I do, though, and I always get shit for it. It's like I send one line, and then the next one, and then the next one. And it's like a whole, like, a message sent over, like, 10 messages. And people are like... Why don't you just type it all out instead of like sending it line for line? But I just feel like it's so, it's so powerful having like one liners. <laughs> you can be a one liner comedian. <laughs> Mine is usually first line is um, answer, answer. And then please, can I call you? I hate typing. 
I hate <laughs> And dude, my typos, I probably saw you a few times in our conversation. <laughs> and I'm just, when I go back to messages, I'm like, what on earth must people think I have puck? You know, I'm out of my mind. I'm, I'm losing my memory. I just make up words as I go along. My, my, my keyboard doesn't like me at all. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. And I can tell you the time's flying, right? What is your, yeah. happy, what is your happy place? Mm, so definitely the na- like being outside in the nature. For me, um, my mom has just like recently pointed out that to me that there's so much healing in nature. And I think um, regardless of whatever you are facing in life, you, I find like you always find your answers in nature. That's a place where you actually can sit and you can think and reflect on things. And definitely if I could choose to be anywhere, it would be in nature. I like nature also. But I really love a nice, nice bathroom. You know, really? with walls and a roof and no animals in it. And I don't have to dig my own hole. <laughs> I know, you're, you, you hold on to come, don't you? You guys, you love to come. Do you, do you camp a lot, baby dog? Uh, <laughs> yes, I go from camp. I'm a camper. I love camping. No, no, but uh, like... When, when I've seen Afrikaans people camp, they come with a dining room addition to the camp, <laughs> like a whole extension to the house. It's just yo, yo, it's that's next level though. Like the other day, I went to um, this four by four place. They fix uh, four by fours, and there was this flipping cool RV in South Africa, and it, it had like a place for an Xbox. It had like a kitchen. Yo, it was amazing. I was just like, I, I need to invest, you know, I need to like... Wait, wait, camp, camping with an Xbox? No, yeah, I mean, it was so luxurious. So I went to this place and um, I saw this RV and I, I, in my mind, I was like, mental note, you are getting an RV and you are... My plan is to actually like um, travel through Africa and just explore a bit. So um, definitely... I don't want to do it luxurious at all. I want to like camp on those small camp beckies and I want to like, you know, live the camper life. I, I feel like I actually could be the best camper maybe, you know, like yeah. hotels so, aren't for me. So yeah. R- Rizal and Roxanne and Keegs who are talking about glamping, you can message me. We're going to go on a glamp <laughs> and we're going to go past you while you're washing your underpants in the river. Okay. <laughs> And eating locusts and bugs. We will, we will mock you from our vehicle. We'll be like, ha, ha, ha. Look at you. We're never going to do it. No, I can't. I can't. I just, I'm just afraid something's going to bite my bum. Oh, that you know? sounds dangerous. And, and I should have known the answer to this. Because you did this little known Afrikaans thing called something brawler rollerkies. Where you put the shit in your mouth and then you spit it out. Am I right? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Don't speak to me about spicy food anymore because you're putting cup in your mouth. In your mouth. Pork trollikis. Pork trollikis. But it was only because Mark dated me and I was like, this girl, this girl will do it. No. Game on. No. And guess no. who won the pork trolliki competition? I did. My book Doliki went so far you couldn't even Listen, see it. I'm very glad you can spit shit from your mouth. I'm so proud of you. But you know what? Like I was like looking at the show and, and you know, I would have more moments when like there were kissy moments and it was you. I feel like hurt, you know. I would be like, ah, oh, you know. But when you did the boss drollikis with the cuck in your mont, I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I this girl needs some tic tacs. Then it was like uh uh-uh. like People seriously, Bok Drolicky is, is rolled up, beat, uh, like, there's Bless Bok, Blow Bok, Spring Bok, Kemp Bok, Kemp Bok, Gear Bok, Spare Bok, Nader Bok. It's all a box. And I always say this, my favorite animal, my spirit animal, is the lay parrot. Oh. No, 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 no. You're thinking the lay, leopard. My spirit animal is a lazy horse. <laughs> A lazy horse. A lazy one horse. that's just chilling all the time. A one that's just chilling. It's just like being lay and the pet. The first, the first time I went on a game drive, they're like, Dars, a lay pet. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like five grand a night. 
and I'm here to see old horses. This is shit. So <laughs> no more lay pads for me. Uh uh-uh, uh, you know, you, you uh, no no. There's no shit spitting in Chile. Please don't do that. They'll ask you to leave their country. You know they have llamas, right? Oh, I love llamas. I saw a llama the other day, and I was like, I'm gonna get out of the car. I'm going to approach this llama, but what I didn't know is that llamas actually kick. Did you know that? Llamas are cousins to the horses. <laughs> if I know anything, I know about cousins. Don't trust cousins. Llamas are like, are like chilled out hippie horses, but they're still a bit shady. You know? <laughs> and where are you rolling that you come across a llama occasionally? Yeah, I, I, we went on some 4x4 four four drive and you know what, there was a llama and I said to myself, there's no way I'm letting this llama go unseen. So I literally, it was like a little herd of them and I approached them and the one even saw my, started lifting its leg and I was like, no, this is, this is the sign for me to now just step away because obviously it got agitated. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you were trying to make balls out of its shit and spit it. You're like, what is going on with this person? <laughs> Llamas are not used to Afrikaans people. Llamas not. Llamas. Neither are horses, apparently, but here we are. Yeah, but you see, that was a KZN and horse too. You know what I mean? That, that horse needed to go like, hey, Lani, let's go a bit faster here. Just, that was a GTI horse and you were trying to, you need to rev it first. You need to build up the, 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 the revs and then you let it go. It was a Durban horse. <laughs> Drag race that you lost there. Uh, <laughs> crazy. I know. I told you it would be fun. I told you it be fun. But Marissa, last one. We'll let you end up on this. What's next for you? What's next for me? Mm. Mm. So for me, I don't know what's next yet. Um... I'm still like living in the moment and I'm trying to like appreciate the moment. I think what um, this whole journey has taught me over the past year is to be present in the moment, appreciate the moment for what it is and do not think, overthink things, do not plan too far ahead, just be present. So I'm trying to focus on that now and then yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, that's awesome. I want to thank you again for coming out to the 600 people that tuned in. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marissa. I wish you the best. I hope to see a lot of you again on the show again Mm -hmm. and lots of cool things from you and lots of good travel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Let's do a screenshot. Oh, yes. Let's do a screenshot. One, two, three. (laughs) Somebody take a screenshot. (laughs) Accidentally. I accidentally paused my phone. Oopsie. It's cool. It's cool. We got it. We got it. You, you were awesome. You were great. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Guys, thank you so much. That was The Late Show. I'm your host, Doc Comedy. I'm a comedian. Please follow me at Doc Comedy. If you enjoyed the content, please donate to the show by putting in, uh, contact us in the DMs. This will be available on YouTube and Facebook 30 minutes after this. So you can like and share. This will be on Instagram TV immediately after this. You guys have been awesome. Um, It has been a great night speaking to somebody amazing. Um, Thank you so much for the laugh. Please share this. Um, And we hope to see you tomorrow night when it's a dark comedy. That's me. Birthday special with um, friends, uh, comedians, musicians, and people who have made a huge difference in my life. And on Thursday, we have Jackie Steinman, who's a professional uh, WBF bikini pro and a personal trainer right here in Johannesburg. So we look forward to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Dark Comedy, Late Show. Bye-bye.